Okay, quick video. So I woke up with the Shaka Khan song in my head, Through the Fire. Um, and it's a song that talks about, you know, like somebody going through, you know, the fire to the limit with somebody like they love them that much that they're going through the fire with them. Which I felt like was symbolic because I had a dream about somebody's house being on fire. Yeah, so you have the magician in the reverse and the page of pentacles in the reverse. So somebody, somebody was being manipulative and breadcrumbing someone in a group, okay? Um, this could be a family member or this could be like a group of friends. Lots of Virgo energy here. Yeah, just somebody holding on to something. Somebody holding on to something, okay? Um, we also have the Ten of Pentacles here, and we have the Chariot. So, somebody was holding on to some type of manipulation or some type of manipulative tactic, tactic okay? Um, and not in breadcrumbing, okay? Um, it could have been, like, physical money. It doesn't have to be, but it's just, like, somebody breadcrumbing somebody, like somebody being manipulative by breadcrumbing somebody, okay? Somebody being worried about somebody's um, independence, all right? Yeah, this is, somehow this is making this person very weak and very unbalanced, all right? This manipulation. Yeah, this person is very, very unhappy. You could be dealing with a Leo, a Sagittarius, or a Cancer, but somebody's very, very, very sad and unhappy and full of anxiety, okay? Um, we have the Ace of Swords in the reverse, so there's still some truth to come out. We also have the Ace of Wands in the reverse. So this person, it's like they've been spiritually, like, blocked, okay? Um, they've been blocked somehow. Yeah, they've been blocked from having a new start with you. Okay, um, through some type of exactly five of swords energy, some type of lies and manipulation, um, in the past, okay, or this person's not going to have a new start with you because they, you know, are a manipulator and a gaslighter and a liar and all of this stuff, all right, and you know, if that is the case, then you made a very good decision not to deal with this person, yeah, judgment's being called on this situation, Okay, because of how this person is, um, I feel like this person may try and offer you a cup of love or some type of apology, but um, yeah, you're going to have victory and success anyway. Even if this person does try to come back and apologize, you're going to have victory and success anyway. We have the Ten of Swords in the reverse and the Six of Wands, so... I couldn't imagine what somebody would have to say after lying so much, okay? Or, you know, are you having bad memories with this person? I, I just can't imagine what somebody would need to say. Yeah, we have the Knight of Swords in the reverse and the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. So this has come to like a screeching halt, okay? Um, this has come to a screeching halt, which I feel like is making you happy. It's making you happy that you don't have to like deal with this person. And they're bullshit, okay? Whoever this is that was trying to come in and manipulate you in some type of way, um, it's not happening, okay? We also have the sun here. I feel like that's what this person does, like, all the time to anyone around them, okay? There's a lot of Leo energy here. I know we got Leo in the last reading. Like, anywhere they go, they just try to manipulate people. It's... I don't think it's something that could be avoided with this person because it's like who this person is like at their core okay I feel like this person resides within their shadow self okay they like the darker aspects of their personality a little bit more than the lighter aspects so they kind of choose to remain and operate within their shadow yeah they want to hold on to something um the king of pentacles in the reverse so this person is desperately trying to like grasp I'm hearing reality, but it's just like this person is like trying to like cling to life. Like they're trying their best to like 
hold on to life, hold on to whatever it is that they have, okay? They're, like, out in the cold, but it's like they're just trying to, like, hold on as long as they can. Yeah, but we still have manipulation here, okay? You could be dealing with a Leo, a Libra, a Virgo, a Cancer, but like the situation's gonna be balanced out. Whoever this was, they were just like insecure as fuck and they were confused, okay, on if they should apologize or not. <laughs> Yeah, because you emotionally walked away from this person. That's what I was thinking, okay, is that you emotionally walked away from this person and just left the dead situation and ended up experiencing a lot of happiness, okay? I feel like you're working towards healing yourself. Um, You may have your guard up right now when it comes to this person, but it's like, I feel like you've been through the fire, like you're going through the fire or you have been through the fire with this person. So it's like... It's not a matter of like, ooh, this is hurting or I'm going through this. It's just a matter of getting through the situation. Yeah, we have the Queen of Swords that popped out. So I feel like you're willing to cut any and everything that you need to off in order to get through the situation. But like, it was definitely a good idea not to deal with whoever this person is, okay? Yeah, you, you weren't going to be able to have a new start with this person regardless of anything that you did. So if you were thinking that like you should have done one thing or another, or maybe you could have done this instead of that. like uh, One thing that you need to understand is that you can't change people's perception of you, okay? Page of Pentacles and the Emperor in the reverse, the Star card in the reverse, the Fool in the reverse. Like it ha trying to get have a new start with this person is like completely hopeless, okay? Um, I feel like this person is draining instead of um, healing, okay? With the star card in the reverse, that's like hopelessness. So whoever this person is, you could be dealing with an Aries. They are, they're not stable, okay? They're not a stable person. They're not, um, this person is afraid of taking risk. They're not stable. They're very, very depressed, okay? Um... And they refuse to lay something to rest, okay, with the four of swords in, in, in the reverse. Like, they refuse to lay something to rest, okay? We have the queen of pentacles here. So, I feel like you're stable and this person isn't stable. You know what I mean? And it could have nothing to do with money. It could have everything to do with mental and emotional stability. Like, you have your mental and emotional stability and this person... Is, just doesn't okay I feel like they're working hard to heal themselves or you've worked hard to heal yourself and that's why you're stable now like you've worked very very hard to heal yourself and you just didn't focus on anybody else but you so that you can heal and I feel like you're stable but this person whoever you're dealing with they're they're not a stable person okay um they're not a stable person this is the type of person that would probably like just fuck with you just to fuck with you um, or do something crazy and outlandish just to get a reaction. Like, you know, like the type of person that like they need attention like that. Like just just to get a reaction out of you, they'll do something um to see what you're gonna say or see what you're gonna do. Um, even though they know it's wrong, they feel like they have to like test the limits. Okay, like this person feels like they have to test the limits all the time or you know, um re exert their control all the time. Like this person just has a problem. Anytime you get the emperor in reverse, that's somebody that has a control issue. So you're definitely dealing with somebody who could very well be very manipulative in order to like reassert um control over a situation. That's how they use their manipulation tactics. That's how they operate within their dark side is that they try to reassert their control and dominance over a situation. This person has a lot of masculine energy or you could be dealing with a masculine. Okay. We have justice being served here pretty much. Yeah. It, it's kind of like, it's a, like, <laughs> it's a secret win. It's a very quiet win with the moon card here in the reverse. Okay. Um, it may have been something that caused you a lot of anxiety, but like seriously, it's a quiet win. I don't feel like this is like nothing to brag about. You know what I mean? Because some people just need fucking help. Some people, 
yeah, you don't know what decision to make right now, but you just know that you want to move forward, okay? Um, you just know that you want to cut out the bullshit. You want to cut out anything that's no longer serving you, anything that makes you feel insecure, anything that's like criticizing or, you know, just bringing negative energy into a certain place, anything arrogant or stupid. Um, you're just not willing to offer yourself up to that. I think that by you cutting all of this stuff out and the people in your community, okay, um, you're going to be able to have or feel better about yourself, okay? Um, we have two queens here, the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups. So I feel like both of those are you. You're just kind of guarding yourself right now. Um, yeah, you're, you're just trying to heal right now. And I feel like... Whoever this person is, they're really trying to attack your stability, okay? We have the Hermit here. Whoever this person is, they're really trying to attack your stability. You have the Queen of Wands in the reverse, which symbolizes, like, somebody being angry or, like, a really, really heavy karmic energy, okay? Um, there's somebody here that just does not want you to be stable, doesn't want you to be happy, um, doesn't want you to have anybody to go through anything with. Um, they just want you to be completely alone, suffering, um, so that they can, like, regain control over you. I don't know. This person just feels like you're out of control. I don't know why. This person just seems like, at least that's the energy I'm picking up on, is, like, they look at you, Angel Baby, and they feel like you are out of control, that you are something that needs to be, like, wrangled back into, into a cage, kind of like an animal. <laughs> um... This person is in for a surprise, is all I'm saying. Um, I don't know what this person is expecting. Like I said, this person could just be trying to manipulate you to get a rise out of you. I don't, I don't know what this person expects. But like I said, some people just need help. Some people just need a little extra help. But it's like this person doesn't want you to believe in yourself. This person doesn't want you to have anybody around you. This person doesn't want you to have money. <laughs> okay, but you're going to have victory and success anyway. You have the six of wands and you also have the nine of cups. So you you have your own personal peace and your own personal happiness. Okay, you're you're returning out of the situation the victor, okay? You may not believe certain things anymore or feed into believing certain things anymore with the Hierophant in the reverse or the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Like, you may not be feeding into certain beliefs and things anymore that you used to have, okay? Like, certain morals and beliefs um, that you no longer want to feed, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like you really, really, really did a cleansing on your core beliefs, okay? And that's what's leading to this victory and helping you move on with the chariot here. So, it's like this person was trying to stop your healing process. Like, I don't know, were you just emitting some really good energy and this person just decided they need to come fuck with you or something? I have no idea. Yeah, this person is, like, miserable, okay? This person doesn't have their ten of cups like you have you're one cup away from the ten of cups and this person is just depressed and unhappy they don't have anybody around them like family wise I don't think um and they're experiencing like a, an inevitable tower moment yeah we have the queen of wands in the reverse again so this just lets me know that this person's own rage and anger and um instability with them not being emotionally fulfilled on the inside um, causes them towers okay it causes them to like not have the stability in a certain way okay um it causes them not to have emotional and mental stability um so I don't think this person knows how to get rid of old beliefs I don't think this person knows how to stop feeding in to the negativity, okay, enough for them to realize that, you know, there's things that they need to work on. I think that this person is solely focused on projection, okay, and they see you healing yourself and no longer, like, feeding into the negativity, okay, like, you may not talk to this person at all, but it's like this person's constantly trying to, like, be a third party. They're constantly trying to, like, attach themselves to you in some type of way even if it is negatively okay and I feel like you're not taking the offer and this person is just upset okay this person is secretly just trying to think of ways yeah they're trying to think of ways to to throw you off balance it's basically it they're just trying to think of ways to throw you off balance and it's really sad 
it's really very sad, okay? Um, like I said, this person just didn't want you to have anybody around you. They didn't want you to have a sense of community. They didn't want you to have any friends. They didn't want you to have your lover. They didn't want you to have your job. They didn't want you to have shit, okay? Um, they didn't want you to have nothing. They just wanted you to be completely alone. And I think that's what's happening to them. Like, they're losing their sense of community, their friends, their family, um, they're getting exposed as a manipulator, okay, um, I honestly feel like everything that they put you through in your baby, they're, they're getting ready to experience or are experiencing it now, I honestly just feel like if you're the type of person where you've already had people, like, lie on you or you already have people, like, believe something about you that's not true, like, you know, like a lot of us do, especially a lot of spiritual people, like, people just see an anointing on you and then all of a sudden, you know, they want to make up this or make up that. And really, they do that just because they're jealous or they do that because they think you have something that they want. Um, like they, these type of people do shit like this because they, they have a lack, they perceive themselves to have, to be lacking in something that they see you have or you get easily. And it's just like, I don't know if they can take it. So even if you're not doing anything to this person specifically, even if you're not saying anything, you could, you could never even have given this person like a, a evil look or anything like that. Um, this person just perceives that you have something that, you know, that, like I said, like this person's in an energy like where they don't feel like you deserve anything, okay? <laughs> like, that's the sad part about it. Like, this person is so insecure that they feel like you should not have anything, all right? Um, I don't know what makes this person that entitled, okay, where they feel like they can just like strip you of everything, <laughs> But, um, like I said, they've been blocked, okay, from doing this. They've been blocked from doing this. I feel like this person legit feels like you don't deserve anything good in your life, all right? I genuinely feel like that. Um, that that's one of the lies that they're trying to make you believe is that you don't deserve anything good in your life unless they do something or unless they give it to you or unless, you know, it comes from them, um, they want to be the source of good in your life or something like that, or they want you to come, um, to them. All right. Because somehow that would make them feel less insecure, but you're the fucking empress. Okay. You have the king of cups here and you have the empress. So whatever situation that you are in, please believe like you're doing it sitting on a throne. Okay. Um, this person, yeah, this for person unfairly targeted your happiness. They unfairly, we're trying to, like, attack you, okay? Um, I really do see that here. This person just wanted to burden you, okay? They wanted to have you stuck waiting. Like I said, this person is very breadcrummy, so I feel like they wanted to have you stuck waiting for their love or waiting for their attention or something. Like, they wanted to make you a permanent narcissistic supply, Okay? They wanted to make you a permanent, um, a permanent factor in, in, in your life, uh, or they wanted to be the permanent factor in your life and make you like the ultimate narcissistic supply and that shit didn't work out and it's time to lay something to rest. Somebody knows that they have a bunch of bad karma coming, um, if you believe in karma, but just like the ramifications, okay, what's left over after a lot of fucked up decisions and targeting people, they know that they have something bad coming to them. They know that they're not just going to get off scot-free after being deceptive. They know that by being deceptive, like, things need to be balanced out, okay, with temperance here. Um, They know that they have to emotionally walk away in order for them to be happy, but it's just like, this person knows that, like, 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 they can't leave you alone, okay? We have judgment here at the bottom. Like, it's this person's judgment day. For some of them, it's a secret, okay? For some of them, um, like, the people that you're dealing with or the person that you're dealing with, because this could be one person in your community or it could be a group of people being led by one person, like, the, the head narcissist leading the flying monkeys in your life that have been kind of, like, going on a rampage and doing whatever they want, okay? I feel like... It's their judgment day. 
it is their judgment day, okay? And I think what you're getting out of this is your independence. You're gaining your sense of self. You're healing a lot more. You're figuring out who you are. You're figuring out what negative core beliefs you want to keep and what you don't, okay? Um, you're figuring yourself out, and this person is just consumed with thoughts of you, okay? This person is um, unable to move forward and do anything else, okay? So they're just kind of doing things to continuously get a reaction out of you, like I said, because they don't have anything better to do. I don't think this person likes to or knows how to um, introspect enough to change, so I think it's easier for them to kind of... Um, project onto you it's easier for them to focus on you than to focus on themselves which is really really sad especially when you know the bullshit just kind of hits you out of nowhere you know what I mean like you're just not even expecting it and you're like what the fuck like that's that person energetically trying to manipulate you and it, it's it's obviously not working especially if you're here <laughs> Okay, and you're, you're listening to this reading. It obviously didn't work because you felt like something was wrong, okay? It obviously didn't work. So um, imagine how frustrated this person is. They have a lack of awareness of self, okay? They're probably not all that enlightened or woke, okay? And um, they see you healing and moving on or you're not speaking to them at all. And they're just like, you know, consumed with their own thoughts, okay? They're consumed with their own thoughts to the point where like they have to start making moves and acting on their thoughts because you know how else are they going to disperse this energy they're used to having a scapegoat around that's what narcissistic people or controlling people do they usually project their negative feelings onto someone else and when there's nobody there to do that all right like sometimes these people are so crazy that they will create an instance to to blame somebody else so that they don't have to deal with their own shit um, or they don't have to, you know, spend the extra time looking at themselves, okay? I feel like you're dealing with, like, an imploded narcissist or one that is about to implode um, on themselves because I think a lot of people have emotionally walked away and that's caused this person to go within deep introspection, okay? That's caused this person to go very, very deep within with Virgo energy here to figure out, you know how they can move on from the situation okay I felt like this person held on to the situation for far too long far too long okay this person is just stuck in the past we have the chariot here yeah I feel like this person missed the boat they kind of missed the boat okay um they kind of got stuck in the deception and the lies and they kind of missed they missed their opportunity to move forward is what it looks like with you. They missed their opportunity to move forward with you because they want it to be manipulative. So I think that you either found a new group of people, a new friend, a new lover or whatever, a new situation to bring in that caused you a lot of happiness, a lot of peace, okay? There's healing between you and these people now. And I feel like this person... <laughs> This person is just, like, stuck from the outside looking in. Like, they're just like, I can't be a part of this person's happiness. You know, is this person happy? You know, let me go over here and cause a ruckus to see what's going on with this person. Like, this person's just operating out of fear right now. Okay. Um, I know I was telling my husband before that sometimes narcissists will create a scenario just to prove that somebody loves them because they have such a low self-esteem that they don't even feel like comfortable waiting, okay, or just being in receptive energy so that they can receive love, okay, by like working on themselves and being a decent person. Like they don't know how to just be calm and, and be in an open receptive state to love. They have to create scenarios where they can manipulate someone into loving them, okay? Okay. Um, like for instance, if you are gifting somebody something, you know, like a controlling person will gift somebody something in order to, you know, create a scenario for you to love that person because you gifted them something. You know what I mean? Like they don't just like naturally like sit back and kind of put themselves in a receptive state of, you know what, if this person loves me, they'll come to me. No, they have to create the scenario in order for you to come to them because they're that insecure. They're that insecure about themselves that they don't even feel like, you know, they can be in an open, loving, receptive state. So um, you're really dealing with somebody who's just like plain old insecure. They're just plain old insecure and you're not and it's bothering them. 
Because, you know, for people like that, like I said, you don't have to be doing anything to them. You don't have to curse them out. You could have in the past, okay, and then just decided to leave this person alone because you're like, you know, this person's going to drive me crazy and I'm not having it. I'm going to just drop the whole situation. You know, you could have said that a long time ago. But for this person, they're living every day in, in this mess, in this uh, entanglement, for lack of better words. Like, they're, this person's living every day operating out of fear because of the things that they have done in the past, okay? And that's basically all that they're afraid of, is how they've treated you in the past, they feel like it's gonna somehow miraculously turn back on them. And it's sad because all they had to do in the first place was just be a decent person, okay? Was just to be open and receptive to love, not control, okay? Not control, like I do something for you and now I get to control you, I get to tell you how to live your life. No, just out of pure love, okay? Free love unconditional love not love with conditions but unconditional love this person could have expressed that and they decided not to and now that shit is haunting them queen of wands in the reverse again and the star card in the reverse yeah this person is feeling very hopeless very depressed okay um they have the king of cups in the upright they're like overwhelmed with emotion because they know that <laughs> justice is coming they know that a tower is coming when it comes to this person they know that the situation is not repairable basically yeah and they're insecure about it and they're like left waiting they're insecure about it they're waiting on their ships to come in okay they're waiting they're waiting on their happiness to come in in regards to the situation okay it's like they're expecting something some type of like heavenly assistance some type of heavenly assistance okay but with the knight of wands in the reverse right after you know the ace of pentacles here um this person's they're they're not going to be receiving anything okay they're not going to be receiving any assistance um when it comes to clearing this energy out of being insecure okay um sometimes god you sometimes you you need to be the first one you know faith without works is retarded so if like somebody or somebody doesn't put in the work okay that it would take to get to a certain point then nothing's going to happen. And this person's not putting in the inner work to change what's going on outside of them, okay? Um, this person just tries to control what's going on outside of them so they can feel better about themselves on the inside and it should be the opposite way around. Work on the inside and that should reflect on the outside and you won't feel the need to control every fucking thing going around. You won't feel the need to be dissatisfied, okay, when somebody um, offers you something. You won't feel the need to, you know manipulate and cause situations to happen because you are feeling insecure basically okay so this person is just doing a whole lot to avoid a tower moment that's that's here anyway and that, i think that's the crazy part is this person doesn't even realize that they are in the tower moment that they are towards the end of the tower moment okay that is it's pretty much over. It's done. That there's nothing else you know that needs to be said or needs to be done. The fat lady is singing okay the fat lady saying it's over, it's done, okay? The only thing that we can do now is to move on because, like, a new cycle is getting ready to start and you're going to have to jump through that loop, okay, into a different timeline, into, you know, an alternate um, dimension, all right? You've made a different decision and it's, it's taking you somewhere else and this person is kind of like... <laughs> This person is, like, saying they want you to go, but at the same time holding you back, okay? Like, there's a lot of, like, love-hate, push-pull type of energy here, which is typical for um, controlling people to do. Like, they want you to move forward. They want you to do this. They want you to do that. But in reality, if you were to move forward and leave this person alone, th they would have nobody here, okay? They'd have nobody here to argue with. They've had nobody here to talk about. Nobody here but their fucking self. So it's like, at the same time, this person is, like, pushing you away but provoking you at the same time. Time. You know, like it's counterproductive. It's counterproductive. Okay, and there's still a lot of truth and clarity here that you don't know about. Okay, because that ace of swords keeps popping up. But I feel like at this point, you may not care. You may just want to make the decision not to fuck with this person, not to offer this person anything because this person is just a mess. Okay, they're a whole mess. They're a hoot and a half of just 
mess. So I feel like you think it's better to just move on, which I, I, I don't think anything is wrong with that. I feel like you're in a state of just really not wanting to be bothered. A lot of times when we're healing ourselves, whether that be physically, okay, and we get hurt and you have to sit down and heal yourself or that be emotionally, mentally, I think you're just taking that time out right now. And I, I, I don't think that's being very well understood by this person at all. I don't think they know how to heal themselves. I think when they see somebody truly healing themselves, like they have the wrong idea. They take it wrong. You know what I mean? Like it's stupid is what I'm saying. But I don't think this person is going to stop you from having anything or getting anything. I, don't, I really don't. Um, you're still getting your ten of pentacles. You're still having your happiness. Okay, and this person is going to continue to be the emperor in the reverse, okay? You're going to have your justice, and this person is going to continue to be unbalanced, basically. Yeah, queen of wands in the reverse, and I saw the emperor in the reverse. This person is going to continue to be unbalanced and weird and crazy, and that's fine. Because some people, some people don't get it. Some people just really don't get it, that you just have to cut a situation off emotionally so you can stop worrying about it and just continue to be stable without them. Like, you just have to... Like, just stop. You know what I mean? Like, this person doesn't have an off switch. <laughs> this person doesn't have an off switch. All right? So, that's what I see. I don't know why I woke up with that song, my Shaka Khan, in my head. Um, like I said, I really feel like this person is jealous that you have somebody here that's willing to go through the fire for you, with you. Like, this person is just consumed by jealousy and rage. They don't think about what they say or do. They just go ahead and say it or do it. Um, and then when it comes to them having to deal with what they've said or done, okay, to other people, um, that shit starts to haunt them. They start to get ridiculously scared. They start doing, um, you know, making moves out of fear and nobody's understanding why they're doing something, but they, they could, they understand it completely fine because they're terrified of something. <laughs> okay that you have absolutely nothing to do with like it could be it could have been about you um you know like a while back but I feel like this person they don't understand like how to let things go they have to keep poking they have to keep prying they have to keep trying to control their outward circumstances so that they don't have to feel the shame and the guilt and the regret and the remorse of them making bad decisions or saying things or whatever it is that they did okay um, but I do see an energy of you moving forward. I do see an energy of this person just being stuck in whatever this is. Like, I feel like even if you're not around this person, like physically, um, this person's still, still going to be doing the same shit. Okay. I don't think, I don't think this person has an off switch. That's all I'm saying. I don't think this person knows how to stop. They don't know how to stop. So I feel like that's where the divine intervention and the justice is coming in at is because this person, they don't know how to give it up. They don't know how to stop. Okay. So divine intervention is coming not to help this person because that's what they asked for, but just to make sure that everything like, like cease fire is what I'm hearing. Like cease fire. 